Hello crazy fam. Today I'm going to do a video on the five reasons why you should move to LA. Last time I did a video on the five reasons you should not move to LA, but I still live here and love it. So I wanted to go over those reasons from the perspective of someone that moved here and came from a completely different area than I am in now. And the five reasons why I think you should move here are in no particular order, but I am a sucker for the geography and California has everything you could ever want. Thing from the cities to the mountains. So right now we are in Solstice Canyon, which is Santa Monica Mountains. We're about to do a hike. And I love that I can literally drive about a half an hour and be in a completely different area. So let's take you along with us. To hike through nature, waterfalls, canyons, and then the same day be able to hop in the car and go to the ocean. From sandy beaches to cliff sides overlooking the water and be able to walk down those paths to the beach. But if you're not really a beach person or a nature person, you also have the city. You have downtown LA, you have Hollywood, you have Santa Monica, which are all cities that can have that city feel that's right for you. But if you're not a city person at all, you can definitely avoid certain areas depending on what your preference is. You don't have to go in the car very far when you really think about it. And it's worth the traffic to see areas that most people would have to hop in a plane to be able to do. Isn't that crazy to think that yes, it's an hour in traffic, but that's a lot better than over an hour in a plane, having to go to the airport, having to pack, having to do all this when you can hop in the car and make it a day trip. And I want to show you it all. So please hit that subscribe button down below. Join the crazy family, hit that like button, and you will see so many amazing videos on what it's like here and tips on adulting. And geography is not the only experience you can get in LA because the second reason you should move to LA is there's always something going on and that's definitely not the case where I was from. Sometimes it can be hard to really understand all the things that are going on around you because you don't hear about them. So I first started learning about things to do when I moved to LA from this app called Meetup. Well, I use the website, but same difference. And Meetup tells you a lot about things going on around you because it's groups of people that actually meet up together and do these things. I never ended up meeting up with any groups. I seriously want to, but it did teach me about different events going on, like in downtown LA where they do night on Broadway. And that was one of the most amazing experiences ever. They had everything from vendors to a Ferris wheel to ride on to a bunch of free shows to see. And it was cool because I hadn't really experienced many of those Broadway-ish type dancing type shows. I saw a lot of like Broadway plays in New York that you obviously had to pay for, but in this case it was more like dancing and some erotic type of things going on. But either way, it was a great experience that I definitely wouldn't have found out about if I didn't go and meet up and I also wouldn't have found out about if I didn't live in LA with all these crazy events going on. And this definitely isn't the only thing you can do. There is something to do every single day, night, evening for everybody's interest. There is actually a bunch of different museums and different museums that you can go to for free on certain days. Or if you are more of a thrill seeker, there are plenty of amusement parks close. There is Universal, Disneyland, and Six Flags where you can actually take a roller coaster and go zooming down on your day off. Or if you're looking for some a little bit more thrilling. There's actually a bunch of places around where you can hop in a plane and go skydiving. And if it's your first time ever going skydiving, you will be attached to someone else and they will be controlling the parachute. So all you were there is enjoying the ride and seeing everything you can see, taking it all in and not having to worry about you know, am I gonna crash because I didn't pull a parachute? None of that, it's really not that bad. And I think everybody should experience it at least once in their life because it's really not as bad as you probably think it is because you're not even in control, you were just along for the ride. Or maybe you do need a night a little bit calmer and you just wanna go out and get some food. Los Angeles has so much variety of food and that's because there's so much culture here and that goes beyond the food. You can see that in so many ways, but if you live in an area where you have a lot of culture, you might take it for granted. I grew up in a high school that was basically 99% white, so I didn't have that culture that you might take for granted where you live, and it was just an amazing experience, and it wasn't overwhelming like some people thought it would be for me. It was just wonderful to be exposed to all this at once. I became friends with a few different people whose families mostly spoke Spanish, and I actually got welcomed into their home, and this gave me an opportunity to see a lot of different 
you know, family dynamics, and it also got me to try foods I probably would have never realized I loved if I wasn't trying to be polite and just eating it because someone gave it to me. And I would have probably been like, mm, no, I'm not good, or I wouldn't order that at a restaurant because, you know, just different reasons. And I ended up finding out that I really loved them, and I love the opportunity to be able to come back to their house and try the food because it's something I really didn't get to experience in my own home. And I wouldn't per se get experience it at a restaurant because home cooked meals are definitely going to be a little bit different. And I was so glad to have an opportunity to be a part of that. It went beyond the food. I learned about traditions, saw family structures, listened to music, saw art, and it represented the people I was around. And there's so many different cultures you can be exposed to by living in LA, by going to the restaurants, going to the events, seeing the art and music that shows you just a little piece of who these people are. And with this variety of culture and people, it actually creates great opportunity and brings me into the fourth reason why you should move to LA. There is so much opportunity here. So you don't have to go into just any career. You can go into the career you want. There is so many tech companies here, influencers, doctors, firefighters. There's so many different industries here from science to math, to fashion, to acting, to music. Almost anything you can think of, there is a job in LA for it. And there are so many events for a vast variety of interests where you can learn more, volunteer, network. And networking is so vital. And with so many people in different interests and in different career levels, the face-to-face -face networking opportunities are basically endless. And a lot of my videos are actually going to go over how to help best use opportunities wherever you are and help you figure out adulting as I am figuring it out too. But the thing is, everything is what you make of it. And that brings me into my last point of why you should move to LA, and that's because it is what you make of it. But it doesn't mean by moving here, you're gonna get your dream job, see all the geography of California, get to all, go to all the events you want to, get all the career opportunities, see all the culture, because it is what you make of it. Just like anywhere you live, it is what you make of it but that can be good or bad reason to move here. And that is my fifth reason why I think you should move here. Because the idea that California is what you make of it puts a fire in my belly. Knowing that LA has a foundation for me and you to do and become everything we want is irreplaceable. And I would really appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button down below because it would really help me in my journey of getting everything I really work hard for. And it allows me to share a video with you every single Sunday Monday and help you figure out adulting for yourself and take you on some vlogs of what it's like in California. And if you have some reasons why you think someone should move to California, or maybe some reasons why you think they shouldn't, feel free to comment them down below. And I really appreciate you watching the whole entire video and I will see you next Sunday. Goodbye, crazy fam.
world's newest skydiver. How good are you feeling? Amazing. Yeah. What was your favorite part? The free fall or the parachute ride or the whole thing? Spinning. Yeah. Spinning with the cool spot. Well, hey, we want to thank you for jumping with us today with Mikey, Max, and DK. Stand together, you guys. Yeah. Look at this. 